Hi, I'm Luke from Jill Bikepacking, and this is how to make a compression bag. This is everything you'll need. A light material, a heavy material, some webbing, metal eyelets, three ladder locks, a toggle, some string, your printouts, there'll be a link in the description below of where to download them, and a sewing machine. First thing to do is to glue all your paper bits together. Now that I've got all my paper glued together, the next thing is to cut out all the materials. I've got two different weight materials. This is a slightly heavier material, it's not that heavy, and this is a lighter material. This is what will be holding all the stuff. This is what we'll be doing all the compression. Now that we've got all our pieces cut out, we're gonna first put together the holding section, which is the lighter materials and the drawstring and this little protector here. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just mark this whole center and this little section here and here. We also need to mark the hole on this section, which is about there. machine. First piece we're going to put together are these big pieces and we're going to fold it in half and then stitch down this edge. Then we're going to stitch down here to make sure it's closed. The next is going to be joining these two pieces together. And now we're going to make a hole in here. The next is putting on this eyelet. Next is we're stitching these two together, this is the drawstring section. I'm going to Stitch these together with the uh, outside bit on the inside. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to pre thread all this, it just makes life easier. And then we need to somehow, by magic, turn this inside out, not inside out, back on itself. And then we're going to stitch that so it's easier to stitch later. Next to is attach these two things together. This one here is the correct way around. The open seam is on the inside and it's smooth on the outside. This one needs to be inside out. And then stitch them together. And then we're going to turn this the right way around. And we're folding the seam down. Folding the seam down here and we're going to stitch again over this. And that is the holding section. Yeah. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the lid together, which is going to need these three ladder locks, the shorter webbings, two of these, and one of these. Over to the machine. So we're going to take these two pieces and put them front to front. This will be on the outside eventually. And we're going to stitch these three shorter pieces of webbing in here, here, and here stitching all the way along this section here. The 
next thing we're going to do is turn this inside out and um, stitch these two ends together. But before we do that, we're going to cut these curves because it makes it sit flatter. The first thing we're going to do is stitch these two sections together with one seam going one way and one seam going the other way. And we're going to stitch that flat. Now we're going to turn this inside out. And we're going to stitch all the way around this, all the way around this steam that we've now just made. The next thing is we're just going to stitch these two edges together, just makes life easier next. The next thing we're going to do is stitch in these letter locks. This will be on the outside, we're stitching them on the inside. Okay, the next thing is we want to attach the top section to do this. And this should be inside out, and this is going on top. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a bit of gross grain all the way around this just to make it nice and neat. The next is to put the base together and then we'll be putting it together with this. So we take all these parts over to the machine. So same as what we did for the lid, face to face. And we'll be putting these inside here, facing out this way. Next thing is to cut these seams to help it sit a little flatter. And then we're going to stitch the two ends together. There's one going one way and the other going the other way.
and then we're going to fix it flat. And then we turn it inside out. Quickly join these two ends together, makes life easier next step. Uh, next is to attach this to this part. And this part needs to be inside out. And this thing doesn't matter for now. This will go onto the outside of these parts. Just going to match up seams with seams. So this seam is going on this seam. the base on. Quickly close going on that machine. Okay, the next thing is to turn this thing inside out. And what we're going to do is we're going to stitch this part of the gross grain and I'll mark it. Seam. We're going to stitch about three centimeters from there, here. And about three centimeters the other way, right here. And we're going to stitch this gross grain to this. Before you stitch this, you just want to make sure that this is pulled nice and tight. Ideally. Same on the other side. Work your way around. And then stitch it. And then just clean up these stitches. 
And the last thing is to thread these. And then do a little back stitch here to stop them falling through because it's quite annoying when they do. And that's your dry bag. There you have it, my favorite compression sack. <laughs>